bad news. I just don't like him being around all the time. I'd be spending Christmas in jail if it wasn't for Bottle. Oh, the guards wouldn't have been here in the first place if it wasn't for Bottle. Did you hear what he did to that poor barman in Paris? What do you know about that? I met Julie yesterday. You know Julie? Yeah, we went to school together. The poor girl was mortified. He punched him for no reason. Big commotion, blood everywhere. Absolute nightmare. He didn't punch him for no reason. The man charged him eight quid for a glass of cider. <laughs> oh, it was a bar on the Champs Elysees. Bottle stopped dead in the middle of the street and refused to go any further until he got a pint. But it wasn't even a pint. <laughs> Are you seriously condoning this kind of behaviour? No, babe. Look, you're right. It's just he's one of the lads. Look, forget about what this day is about. You, me, no lads, no fighting. All right, babe? Okay. Here. Happy Christmas. Oh, thanks, hon. What is it? Open it and see. It's from Tibet. There's a Buddhist mantra inscribed on it. In Tibet. Lovely. What does it say? It says, wherever you travel, may you return safely. Sure, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> not now, whatever. I'm not planning on going anywhere. Not just physical travel, spiritual journeys to protect you. Oh, thanks, honey. It's very thoughtful. <laughs> Happy Christmas to you. Happy Christmas to you. Happy Christmas, Mr. Hancock. Happy Christmas to you. An Xbox! <laughs> oh, baby, you shouldn't have. I thought it might make staying in a little easier. You won't have to have the lads around all the time. You know they just landed in on top of you. <laughs> Money rising you. I shouldn't have flown off the handle like that. I'm sorry. I know it's difficult. Won't be difficult anymore. Fuck the lads and their shine <laughs> <laughs> That must be my most but you better make one exception and let him in. Of a man that'll forget the spuds for the Christmas dinner? <laughs> what the fuck were you planning, Hank? <laughs> Dal bat and a bit of rice. <laughs> Throw in a bit of couscous and you'd have the ultimate faggoty festive feast. <laughs> I just forgot. <laughs> oh my god, the new Xbox. Did you get him this, Cindy? I did. Oh. She's not the best Jesus. girlfriend ever or what? She sure is. I hope you got her something decent. I most certainly did. Show it to him, babe. <laughs> oh, is this what I think it is? <laughs> Ray. Ray. What? What? Oh, I had to piss on your parade there, Romeo. <laughs> but this looks suspiciously like a bit of colored glass on a shoelace. <laughs> Ooh. Wherever she travels, she may return safely. <laughs> Got it into bed. How did you get into Tibet? <laughs> well, not Tibet exactly. <laughs> I got it off of Tibet in Kathmandu. He was selling them on the side of the street. Same that told me what the writing meant. Oh, really now? 
Or was that before or after he told you about his four magic beans? <laughs> <laughs> you got Cindy the Buddhist version of socks for Christmas. <laughs> Yeah, for when she travels. Oh, sorry. Are you going somewhere, Cindy? Not that I know of. Not just physical travel. Oh, excuse me. I didn't realise. So, what other types of travel does this wonderful present cover? <laughs> oh, no hurry. As a matter of fact, I thought I might stay for a can. The least I deserve after saving your fucking Christmas dinner. Jesus, Raymond. Where are my manners in a Christmas day? Uh, no worries, Cindy. When you don't have a present to remind you. <laughs> there. Cindy, Cindy, take this with you. In case anything might happen. Are you happy now? I certainly am. Do you know what? I might even stay for good dinner. You will in your arse stay for dinner. You're welcome to stay for dinner, Raymond. Uh, I wouldn't dream of it. Well, all right, so. 